Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Time for some, well, a message, a confirmation even, a reading, if you will. How about some energy? Time for some energy this afternoon, just to see what is going on, where things are, because you're thinking about it. You're wondering like, what is this? What does this mean? Why am I here? at this particular moment, this particular time, you know, what what is what is the energy? What what do I need to know right now? So let's hop right into it. I have the tarot deck, of course, and then I have our consciousness deck. This one helps you go inward to really figure out what it is you need to tap into to create this life that you desire, to stay on the path that you're on, if it feels right for you, and if it doesn't feel right, what you may need to do in order to make it feel that way. You know, that's going to resonate with you and get you to where you want to be. So let's first of all hop into the tarot deck and see what the energy is pertaining to it. So we're going to shuffle they're ready i just feel good energy i don't know about you all but let me do say this i was over on beagle earlier and it was amazing and thank you because a few of you that are here um, have joined me over on Bico, and I am loving every minute of it. And isn't it fun? Please comment down below if you are a part of the Bico fam and that you are enjoying what we have been doing over there. Let this family know. Just let them know because unless you are in it, you cannot understand it and you should not judge it. So, But you would be amazed at the results and the information that you get from the readings that I am actually giving and the messages that I am actually providing. So yes, please come over and be a part of that. Right off the gate for you all is the sun card, which means right now things are really looking up. Yes, things are looking up. Things are looking good. You're being vulnerable. You're just letting your hair down. And it feels like a time of uh, completion and being successful right now. And that's a really good sign. The hanged man shows up to say also, when you need to go inward and get that introspection, please do so. Because sometimes success can be overwhelming. Sometimes we get into, oh, wow, that came quick you know and then we look for what's gonna happen this is too good this feels too good to be true and then we think that something you know negative has to take place when actually no we can ride the wave we can ride the wave and be okay with uh what we what we've accomplished and know that yes you know this is good stuff this is good stuff so take some time to go inward um that's who the hangman is showing up here and letting you know to do that and that yes it's okay to do that so coming into our third card which is kind of disturbing it's the ten of swords the ten of swords showed up for us uh just the other day but the ten of swords shows up to remind us again to just go back and and go inward so we don't get to this some of you could already be here you know just overwhelmed from even uh the successes the things that have come, you just, you don't know how to handle it. And you feel, you feel like, you know, it, it's, it's going to look like this. Like, wait a second, wait a second. There is some energy still around me, even though I'm taking the time to go inward and just, you know, sit in my, my light and try to understand what's going on, whether it be success from work, uh, success of family, I still find myself having to go inward because I'm feeling like I'm just, something's not right, like something is off. And we have these feelings. We have these feelings of just being stabbed in the back, like just done. Like people have really taken advantage. People have really just betrayed us. So if this energy is on you, the thing that I say to people in situations or persons in situations where it just feels overwhelming is to feel it. You have to feel it. You have to sit in it, own it, recognize it in order to move forward. We cannot just shake feelings off like this and be okay. At some point, whether it's for an hour, whether it's for a day, whether it's for a week, you have to own it. You have to sit in it and say, why do I feel like I've just been you know, taken through the ringer? Why am I feeling like this? What did this? Why am I here? own it. If you're feeling this, own it. You cannot move forward if you don't own it. So the hangman is here to say, look, I need you to be prepared because this is what's coming. 
you're gonna have these overwhelming feel feelings, but if you go ahead and practice some introspection now and process it and understand that you do need to heal, maybe coming out of a bad relationship, okay? Maybe not quite understanding where and how all of this, how you got all of the success, how, how you got this completion, okay? These are fears of limiting, the, not, yeah, these are fears and thoughts of limitations, okay? It could be pain, hate, fear of success, fear of success even. So that's what's kind of, that's what it's looking like here. So you jump from success to thinking about it, then fearing it. Okay, so let's work on these feelings. Um, yeah, face them. Face them so that you can get past them. And the next card that popped out was, of course, the Ten of Cups. You got the Ten of Swords, but then look, you're going to have the Ten of Cups. Okay, everything's gonna work out okay. Because look at it, it's a process. You succeed, you think about it, you get worried and nervous about it, but then it comes back together. It all comes back together. Then on top of that, it's celebration time. It's time to celebrate. Once everything comes together, it's time to celebrate. That's why I say when these cards pop up, don't, don't fear them. Whatever has happened, face it, own it, face it, but get up and move on because you can get up from this. But there's always a possibility. There's always coming back from whatever we face. And these cards just laid it out perfectly to let you know, yeah, 10 of cups, completion. You've come full circle. You've come full circle. That's your completion. This is just tops it off to say that there's gonna be celebration. There's gonna be a celebration. Now, because the 10 of swords showed up and then the, your, the three of cups shows up, it just says, just be careful so that you don't go back to this because you know two is comfort, three is a crowd. So always look at the circle, the people around you so that you don't have a bad seed in the situation to pull you back into something that you that you took the time and effort and the strength and the determination to come up out of. So always check your surroundings because even though it's three people celebrating, sometimes three is a crowd and sometimes there's a third entity there or person um, that's not supposed to be. So make sure you check that out. And last but not least, let's go ahead and put this on top of it. And guys, I want to remind you all to uh, follow me tonight over on Bego. Go ahead and find me on Bego. It's Christastic, or you can find me as Crystals Tarot so that you guys don't miss out on some awesome, awesome uh, topics and, of conversation and some awesome messages. And bam, peace will be yours. Peace will be yours. Yes. Why will peace be yours? Because you're going to let go of these limiting thoughts and beliefs and, and get some healing. And you're going to watch out for that third person, that third wheel, so that they don't come back into your space. And that's how you're going to create some peace in your life around you and those, are those um, closest to you and um, in an entire situation that you're trying to get your your thoughts around and 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 mental around and energy around so i love it i hope you guys loved it as well go ahead and follow me like i said on bego for those of you who are here for the first time go ahead and follow here and we're just doing a lot of cross promotion with these platforms because it is working and i'm excited about it i'm glad you are as well and i'll see you guys in the next reading Ashe. bye